Alrighty, today we're gonna be unboxing something a little bit special. This is a German-made Sig Sauer P226 X5 Super Match. The reason I say these are special is uh, the German factory has since ceased production and these were some of the last handguns to come out of the factory. So it's gonna ship in this, uh, the, the cardboard box here and then inside there will be this plastic case that is foam lined. And then up top, you're gonna get a couple things. You'll get two manuals. Uh, they're essentially the same thing, just different languages. So the English portion is in the center here. And so you get a nice diagram of all the different parts. It's detailed as most SIG manuals are. And you also get a T10 Torx driver. And this is going to be used for adjusting the trigger shoe. And then you will also get the test target used to check the accuracy of it. Pretty nice. I, I would like to see this um, with American-made SIGs, even other American-made guns. It would be nice to just see that, hey, it was made uh, with, with accuracy in mind, and they tested to ensure it. But... That's a nice addition. In the box, you're gonna get two stainless steel magazines. One is in installed in the gun. And so I found conflicting information. Uh, a couple places were saying that these were 19 round magazines, uh, but they do have 17 round indicators on the side. And then if you look on the model version, it also says 17, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and assume that they're 17 round, but most sources that sold these guns uh, said that they were 19 round magazines. And so you get nice aluminum base plates. Those are silver in color and black followers. And also in the box, you're gonna get three additional Allen keys. And these are basically used uh, for taking apart certain areas of the gun that require those sizes. It's nice they include all the, the tools in the, in the box to go ahead and get everything taken apart. Then you also get some Sig Sauer high definition gun grease in this tube here. Alrighty, let's take a look at the gun. So this is a full size framed uh, 226, so it is rather large. So the barrel feature here is a stainless steel barrel that is five inches, chambered in nine millimeter. And it's got a nice crown on the on the muzzle in there. And the slide here is also stainless steel. It is a different finish, as you can see. There, it almost feels like a PVD, um, but there is some type of finish on here. They don't state uh, what that is. They just say it's stainless steel, but it definitely is a, is a different look than the barrel itself. The barrel almost looks to be bare stainless steel. And so on the slide here, you're gonna get serrations in the front as well as the rear. And that is also present on both sides. 
and your optics or sights, iron sights, are going to be adjustable in the rear, both left, right, up, and down. And it's just a black serrated notch sight. And then your front sight is dovetailed into the slide. And that is also a black serrated uh, sight as well. I would have liked to have seen something different in the front, uh, but um, you can always change that out, I assume. And so your frame here is an aluminum alloy frame. It looks like it's also finished in the same finish as the slide. On the bottom here, you're going to get a four-section Picatinny rail, a checkered trigger guard in the front. And the grip itself is also checkered in the front. Then you'll also get some Hogue G10 grips. This is a, a pretty nice, not super aggressive uh, grip texture. It's something different, definitely not something you see, uh, something made here. Mostly everything we do here is is uh, pretty aggressive. Uh, this one is, it's it's grippy, but, but it's nice. And then it's got that X5 uh, logo on the side there. Same X that is on the slide. And so it's also got stainless steel grip screws and a nice extended beaver tail. Let's discuss those controls. So in the rear here, you're gonna have a skeletonized hammer. A frame mounted safety which is ambidextrous. It is the same size on both sides. There's your slide stop slide release. No uh, decocker present on this uh, version of the 226. You also get an extended and textured takedown lever uh, for your support thumb and an adjustable trigger. And a really nicely extended magazine release you can see there show you how those mags look look really good one thing i did forget to mention was the uh flared magwell and so this is something that is removable if you're not too fond of that uh, but it also is beveled on the inside of the magwell as well So those mags do drop free. If you guys have any questions on the P226 X5 Supermatch, drop a comment down below. Thank you for watching.